Good morning dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. The gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the Gospel of St Mark chapter 13 verses 24 to 32. But in those days after that tribulation the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from heaven and the powers in the heavens will be shaken and then they will see the son of man coming in clouds with a great power and glory and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds from the ends of the earth to the ends of heaven from the fig tree learn its lesson as soon as its branches becomes tender and puts forth its leaves you know that summer is near so also when you see these things taking place you know that he is near at the very gate today i say to you this generation will not pass away before all these things take place heaven and earth will pass away but my words will not pass away but of that day or that hour no one knows not even the angels in heaven nor the son but only the father the gospel of the lord today we celebrate 33rd sunday in the ordinary time we live in the days of great signs the coming of the kingdom of god is presented to us through very many signs the lord jesus came to bring us the kingdom of god and to set us free from bondage to sin death and destruction and from the powers of the evil one who tempts us through lies and deception the day of the lord's return will be unlike any other moment in time history and destiny for the human race and our place in god's creation then the stars of heaven will fall and all will be shaken before the presence of the lord when he comes then the people of the earth and their rulers will know who is the true king and ruler over all Jesus first coming was a rescue mission to free the human race from slavery to sin and satan the father of lies his second coming will be the final completion of his mission when he will make all things new a new heavens and a new earth after he has put down the last enemy which is death and restores our lovely bodies to immortality when death will be no more what lesson does the lord jesus want us to learn from the parable of the budding fig tree the fig tree was a common and important source of food for the jews it bore fruit twice a year in the autumn and in the early spring this parable foretells the joy of kingdom the joy of new life and the promise of a new age of peace and blessing the signs of spring are evident for all who can see just so are the signs of god's kingdom the budding of god's kingdom begins first in the hearts of those who are receptive to god's word those who trust in god's word will bear the fruit of his kingdom the first coming of the lord is inseparably linked with his second coming at the end of this present age we do not know the day or hour when the lord will return again in glory but now in this present age we can experience the first fruits of the kingdom of god the abundant new life in the holy spirit who dwells within us and the fruit of the spirit love peace joy patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self control and so many other qualities which the spirit works within us thus enabling us to love and serve others with the tender hearted mercy patience and goodness do you know and experience
in your life the first fruits of the kingdom of God. I pray may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.